<clears throat> Welcome back everyone. We're uh, doing a series uh, right now on uh, kind of preparing for winter camping and all the uh, the gear that I use, not all of it, but, but a lot of it, uh, some of it, especially the stuff that makes camping more uh, comfortable. Now I'm a big fan of um, winter camping for the ambiance, not, not for a mission or anything like that, but just because I like it being so cold outside and a piece of canvas separating me from that cold and being nice and comfortable and warm inside, um, I, I just I love I, I just love that feeling. It's like being in an ice shack, right? Where it's super warm in there and it's hot and it's comfortable and you're stripping layers off and yet it's minus 30 outside. Um, so for me, I try and make camping of any kind uh, as luxurious as, and comfortable as possible. So. So far in the series, we have done the X-Dragon uh, solar battery banks, we've done the LE lanterns, we've done the Gerber 12-inch uh, folding four pivot point saw, and we've done a wood moisture tester. Um, the next one is just a very simple radio. It is a Sony AM FM radio, it takes two double A's, there's really not much I can tell you about this. Uh, it's got a folding antenna, it's got your typical tuner on the side, a little tuner wheel, and the ability to change from AM, FM or off, volume adjustment, you can even plug headphones into this thing. Uh, $20 at Walmart, and it was probably one of the best 20 bucks I ever spent. This, you know, just the having the ability to have some background noise or or uh, on Saturdays there's like a CBC radio comedy show at 6 or 6.30 in the evening. You know, when you're out camping and you're cooking your boil in a bag or your cup of soup or something and it's nice and toasty in your tent, it's really nice to have, you know, some radio playing, the odd, you know, documentary or, or um, you know, show or something like that, comedy show, and then even some, you know, music in the background. Um, so there's really not a lot more I can say about it other than for the price, this little piece of luxury to have out camping really makes a difference. Um, I do find I listen to audiobooks a lot, which is nice as well. But you know when you just get to the point where you don't want to concentrate or pay attention anymore? That's where this comes in real handy. You just want to throw it on in the background and, you know, now and again something will spark your attention and you'll turn it up and you'll listen to it. Um, but it sure makes the time pass um, and it's just nice to have the background noise. So Walmart 20 bucks. Uh, I haven't been able to, I didn't look this up online to see if it's available on Amazon. I swear 99% of everything I buy is from Amazon. This is the one thing I bought years ago um, from Walmart. We were, I, I think it was around Christmas time, we were just I think we were buying my niece her stereo or something like that, and uh, and I just happened to see this and I thought, wow, this would be perfect. Uh, it's really light, I can tell you that. It's really light. It's got no batteries in it right now, but again, only takes two double A's. Yep. Um, it's rugged. It gets shoved in a pouch, and uh, it it's a real nice thing to have when you're out camping. Doesn't matter if it's winter or not. You know, some of these items I'm doing on this this gear review. Uh, aren't specific to winter, but they're items I take with me everywhere and I find a little, you know, a little piece of joy or I find, uh, you know, a little bit of luxury or comfort out of all these, these items. This is one of those items for sure. You know, my, I, I take this almost on every adventure I do. Even when I set up my canvas tent back home for the summer, I'll have this in my tent and just, you know, kick it on now and again when I'm uh, getting ready for bed or whatever and just drift away. So 20 bucks, best 20 bucks I spent or one of the best $20 I've spent on a piece of gear. This comes with me everywhere. Um, you know, I, I'm not a survivalist, so I don't need a crank radio or anything like that. And I'm totally fine bringing extra AA batteries. The only change I would make if I was going to buy a different one is I would get a USB rechargeable one, but I just don't know how long it could last and how much weight that would add to the radio. Not that I care about weight, but some people would. As it sits right now, really light. So that's it for this one. Stick around for the next review.
Thanks for watching.